Alright, welcome back guys to your second Android game development tutorial series with AND Engine. It's probably the longest title ever. But now what we're going to do is we're going to convert these packages into jar folders. So we are jars basically. So when we create our game uh, project, we can just add these jars to our project easily. Um, so we've pretty much downloaded everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Eclipse. I'm going to create a new uh, workspace for this uh, tutorial series get that bad boy going and then we're just going to close the welcome screen and make sure that we have our SDK linked so I'm just going to go to what is it window Android SDK manager nope not that uh, Eclipse or if you guys are on Windows I think it's Windows or help one of those two but what we're looking for is preferences and then we're going to go to the Android folder Locate the Android SDK that we downloaded, and not not in this series, but if you guys watch my other Android series, uh, just learning the Android basics, um, that's what I'm referring to. So if you guys haven't downloaded the Android SDK or anything like that, or Eclipse, make sure you go back to the Android basics series that we have on YouTube or on our website at mybringback.com, and we're just going to locate that, hit apply, hit OK, bam, looking good looking great the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click we're gonna go to import and we're gonna go to the general folder here existing projects into workspace now we need to say select the root directory we're gonna browse for our root directory and we're gonna locate again I had mine under documents Android engine jars and I'm just gonna select I don't know, can I select all of them no I'm gonna select the main engine itself the and engine here hit OK and make sure this is checked here and hit finish um, and it loads it into our project. We get a little error there but it should go away I believe. We'll let it sit there and hopefully it goes away. I'm just going to do this for again each one of the projects um, or each one of our extensions so hit open Make sure that's checked, finish, and uh, all right. And so finally, I'm on my last one. I'm just going to hit open and finish. Bam. And we're getting these errors. Basically, what's happening is Eclipse is like, yo, dude, I'm not liking what I'm seeing here. We're going to go to Project Clean. Hopefully, that fixes everything. <clears throat> and it doesn't. It just says, hey, dude, I can't clean this. It's a mess. It's going crazy. So what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to right click on our project or each one of our packages, go down to, what is it, build path, build configuration, or I'm sorry, configure build path, and then we're going to have to go to the Java compiler here, and uh, we're going to click enable project specific settings. Make sure this is on Java 1.6 here, or the complacent, complacency level, and hit apply, and OK, and then the next thing that... Uh, well, it looks like it cleaned it all for us, um, or fixed everything. And that's exactly what we wanted. If it didn't, um, you also want to add a res folder uh, if it didn't automatically clean it for you. So all you do for that is right-click, New, Folder, and type in RES for each one of those. And again, change your complacency level for each one of those as well, and hopefully you'll get rid of those errors. Now what we have to do is convert these packages into jars. I know, it's a lot of setup just so we can make a game. I mean, it's crazy, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, so we're going to right click and we're going to go to export this time instead of import on our package itself. And we're going to go to the Java folder and we're going to hit jar. We're going to hit next and we're going to uncheck all of these. What a waste. All right, well, we're going to do this top one first, uncheck everything, and we're going to go to our browse. We're going to locate that folder again that we set up called Android Engine Jars, and that's where we're going to create this first folder um, or this first jar. And so once we're in our folder, I'm just going to label this Android or And Engine, um, and there we go. That's going to be fine. Actually, I'm just going to do this lowercase. So And Engine, save, and then finish. And it, it says we have some warnings, we can check out the details, but for right now, don't worry about it. And that's how we create a jar. We have our Android engine or and engine jar created. We're going to do that for each one of these. So that's what we have to look forward to. 
Um, I'm probably going to clip the video as I do that for each one. After I show you guys a quick review again of what we've done, we're going to work with the augmented reality extension, right click, export, uh, jar under the Java file, hit next, and make sure it's only checked on that one and uncheck everything on the right side. And then we're going to go to Browse uh, and Engine Aug Reality dot jar. Oh well, my naming convention's a little bit different than the last time. It doesn't matter. So there we go. We have two jars within our folder, and uh, I'm going to clip the video as I do that with the rest of them. So again, thanks guys, and uh, that's probably it for this tutorial. I'll catch you guys in the next one where we're going to test out and make sure everything is installed properly. So again, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.